Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the syllabus of the BSc 6 semester of Computer Science of Gulbarga University, Kalburgi. In the 6th semester, the student can learn the two skill enhancement papers and three discipline specific elective papers. Coming to computer science syllabus of the skill enhancement course paper number three, student can choose any one among these two papers, system administration and maintenance and software testing. So student can choose any one and it is for 50 marks, 40 externals and 10 practical uh, marks. Skill enhancement course four paper, MySQL and information security. So based on these two papers, student can choose any one in skill enhancement course four and uh, he or she can learn this paper for 50 marks. They can appear external exam for 40 and 10 would be awarded as internal marks. DSC 4 and DSC 5 is your uh, physics and mathematics papers and DSC 6 is your computer paper. So here in DSC 6 computer paper, you will be having the four options means Python programming, web technology, data mining and operating system. These are the four papers for DSC 6. Among these four, you may choose any one for 100 marks and uh, external exams will be conducted for 80 and 20 is given as a internal assessment marks. So total in the theory part, you will be having 400 of uh, examinations, three disciplines, specific elective papers for 100, 100 marks and two skill enhancement papers for 50, 50 marks. So based on your discipline specific elective papers, the three practicals would be conducted for 50, 50 marks. In computer, Python programming or web technology, data mining and operating system. So based on the chosen uh, subject of the student, they may appear the practical labs for 50 marks. So total the student can appear the exams for 515 marks in six semester and total 22 credits should be there. So this is the sixth semester of the BSc syllabus. Uh, coming to detailed syllabus of this uh, system administration and maintenance, skill enhancement paper for 50 marks, you will be having two units. First unit about the Linux and its basic and its architecture and the various concepts and features, advantages and disadvantages of the Linux operating system. And second unit on the Windows operating system and uh, how Windows operating system works and how you can install the various applications and configure the operating system. So you will be having the references also to refer these uh, references for this subject. And based on this subject, you will be having the practical for 10 marks. Another skill enhancement course, uh, three paper is the software testing. So either you can choose the, uh, system administration and maintenance or you can go for the software testing. If you choose software testing, you will be having two units, introduction unit, introduction about the software testing and the basic terminologies of the software testing, functional testing and black box testing in the first unit. Second unit based on the structural testing, white box testing and other testings. You can refer these books for the software testings and based on this, you will be having the practical for 10 marks as a internals. Skill enhancement for paper, that is MySQL. First unit on MySQL versus SQL asterisk plus and uh, second unit on the transaction control statements. You can refer these books for this uh, subject. And based on this subject, you will be having 10 marks of 
practical assessments. Similarly, SEC 4 B paper is the information security. In information security, uh, in first unit, you can learn the overview of the security and various security threats. In second unit, uh, you can understand what is cryptography and how it works in the networking in computer system to secure the information. So you can refer these references and based on this, you will be having 10 marks of lab assessments. Discipline specific elective paper that is uh, the Python programming. So in this uh, in this Python programming, you will be having four units. Uh, first unit about introduction, second unit about uh, list and all, and second unit is the module packages and programs. Fourth unit on classes, object, inheritance, concept, GUI programming. You can refer these books for this Python programming. Based on this Python programming, you will be having the lab for 50 marks. So all the concepts which you study in the Python programming shall be carried out in the lab. And if you choose the web technology, so you need to study the web technology in four units, introduction to web designing and HTML concept, HTML language in the first unit. Second unit, you can learn the cascading style sheet, which is known as CSS and also the DSTML, dynamic hypertext markup language. Third unit on the Java script and the various concepts of the javascript you can understand in the third unit and also you can understand the query fourth unit about the bootstrap so with the help of bootstrap how you can design the web pages and how you can form the tables forms buttons etc you can understand in the fourth unit you can refer these uh, references for the web technologies and based on the theory concepts which you learn in the web technology, your assessment shall be carried out in the lab for 50 marks. Coming to the data mining. Again, data mining is divided into four units. So first unit about the introduction of the data mining, second unit about the data processing, third unit about the data warehouse, OLAP uh, technology and fourth unit about the mining. So you can refer these references and based on the theory concepts, the methods and technique which you learn in the data mining, all the assessments shall be carried out into the data mining lab for the 50 marks. Next is the operating system. So if you go for operating system subject, Again, you need to learn the four units in OS. The first uh, unit about the introduction of the operating system and the type of the operating system and other uh, concepts like multi-programming, batch, time, multi-user, etc. Second unit, you can understand the operating system organization. Third unit, you can understand the concept of the process management of the operating system. And fourth unit, you can understand how the scheduling take place in the operating system. So these are the references for this operating system. And you can go for all the concepts, methods and techniques which you learn in this operating system. The assessment shall be carried out into operating systems lab for 50 marks. So this is the syllabus of the BSc 6 semester CS.